Hi everyone, I'm Mehdi, your math teacher from the MTH 101 course. I hope you are all doing great and feeling ready for the upcoming final exam. Here, some important tips and reminders for the big day. Don't forget to bring along your official ID card with a photo. This could be your student card, driving license, or passport. The exam is scheduled to start at 16.30 in Amphi 102. Students whose student number starts with K2023 will have their exam on Monday, the 8th January 2024. Other students will have it on Tuesday, the 9th January 2024. You will have 60 minutes to complete the exam and there won't be any extra time given. There will be six questions and this exam counts toward a significant 60 percentage of your total points for the course. I'll be looking at your solution method, not just the final answer. Remember, using or sharing calculators and cell phones during the exam is not allowed. Try not to ask any questions during the exam. Even if you spot a mistake, just work with the provided data. Cheating is a big no-no, and anyone caught cheating or helping someone else cheat will face serious consequences. Let's keep the exam-related discussions in the comment section below this video. And please avoid sending private messages on WhatsApp about the exam and the results. For the students who might need to take the recit exam, stay tuned for the announcements in our WhatsApp group. Now, let's dive into some study tips to help you prepare for the exam and succeed. Before the exam, start by reviewing your notes and highlighting key concepts and formulas. Practice solving similar problems to what you expect on the exam. This will help you get familiar with the type of questions you might encounter. And create a study schedule and break your study sessions into manageable parts. During the exam, read through all the questions before you start answering any of them. This will give you an idea of what to expect. Stay calm and focused. Take the breath if you start feeling overwhelmed. Double check your work if you have time left. It's always good to catch any mistakes. And after the exam, reflect on your performance. What went well? What could you improve on for the next exam? Review the solutions provided by your teacher to understand where you might have made mistakes. Don't be too hard on yourself. Learn from any setbacks and use them to grow. I hope these tips help you feel more prepared and confident for the exam. Remember, I'm here to support you every step of the way. Good luck and don't hesitate to reach out if you need any assistance.